What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Infinite Magic Raid, and today we're going to follow up our video talking about the weekly cards, and we're going to move on to the next thing that is really, really, really huge, and that is the quest system. So as you guys know, we always had the daily advanced collection, adventure, and accumulation quest, but you'll notice behind my head here, well, I wonder, can I pull this up? No, I can't. There's more of them now. So we have three more. We have the journey quest, the strength quest, and the wish quest. Now, the one thing to remember with these is that these start from zero. It doesn't take any of your past progression. It can't track all that. It is for new things. But you have a brand new track with more rewards coming your way too. And from the looks of it, a lot of diamonds. So some of them are weird though. Like they're really weird. Use 10 advanced skill scrolls. That one's easy. Use three bottles of regression potion. That one's not exactly optimal per se, but it's interesting. I guess you get a little bit of a refund on those regression potions. Buy one a month, you get one or two free of them. Uh, we'll see. Uh, use one mythic hero conversion stone. Now, this one's kind of stupid in my opinion because uh, what the conversion stone is, I believe, well, let's just double check. Um, period packs, monthly packs. So this is a mythic hero conversion stone. Convert an owned mythic hero to another hero. Uh, and I believe this is the only way to do it. Doesn't really seem like something that's viable for even spenders because you should be getting the correct hero you want anyway. I guess if you make a mistake, you get 100 here and 30 points, which is, you know, some rewards. We'll see. Uh, use one Legend Phantom Dragon Eye. That'll be possible for free to play moving forward as well from events and such. Obtain three epic heroes via campaign auto drop. Again, once you beat hell campaign and you get all those three stars, this should happen pretty quickly overall. Usually I get like one four star a day. Uh, complete three seven star wish rune dispatch quest. Again, uh, once you start getting this leveled higher and higher, it should be possible. I feel like I get one per day. So again, not too difficult to get these rewards. It is gonna take some time though. Uh, this one's interesting. Upgrade mark talents a total of level 100. So, um, I'm, in, I'm intrigued here. I'm wondering if, like, because they have it for red mark, blue mark, all of them here. I'm guessing what they mean is all of these points together. And I wonder if we put, like, the next point in, that'll just automatically give us whatever we've already done up to. Uh, but it is going to reward you for doing your mark towers and getting your stuff up. Um, upgrading class talents. Uh, there's a lot of talents and stuff here. That is going to reward you. Upgrade class talents of attack. A total of level 200. So what that one there is talking about all the points here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What well, we have 80. 1, 2, 3, 4. We've got 84 points in there right now. Uh, once we do get further, we'll be getting points for like these things here, which is interesting. Uh, next time I put a point in, I should just get this automatically. So you should be ready to get a lot of summons here for next week's event as well. Uh, activate 10 rare auras. Woo, 10 elite auras, 10 epic auras. Uh, yeah, these are going to be interesting. And then, of course, 10 legend auras. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Upgrade 30 rare auras to max level. Oh my goodness. So there's some really long-term things here as far as auras go and everything. Absolutely crazy. Let's check out the strength quest. Zoom stamina. Okay, that's straightforward. Uh, what does this say here? Oh, I didn't realize you can just look at all the rewards just in one click. Lots of supreme runes, which are cool. Upgrade one hero's emblem to max level. Uh, you're going to have to redo that. Consume 100 multi-battle stamina. It should be easy enough too. Win a total of 30 times in the Faction Abyss, Tower of Mark, obtain 10 four-star Dragon Eggs from the Dragon Cliff. Again, should be easy once that event rolls around. Uh, brave Trial, man. I hate, Bla I hate Brave Trial, like I really do. Um, it's one of those events that I'm just not really a big fan of, to be honest. Um, you kind of get stuck at certain spots here and there. 
and then you have to like restore your heroes as well and then hope you can get like a victory and stuff but yeah it is kind of what it is again not a big fan of that one but hey some people love it and then purchase 10 superior buffs in the brave trial Ooh, interesting so you're actually buying the buffs as well and then lastly we have wish quest so obtain one legend hero in a single excellent wish times one Ooh, that was actually interesting so that's like the single pulls not the 10 pulls interesting get two epic heroes so these are like achievements things that are very rare to happen so how many people out there are going to try to get this one done just by using one single one i mean optimally you do it when you're down to like the last 10 before pity and then you just go in and use your one times and you can get it uh, miracle wish should be about the same difficulty as well refined wish getting those epic heroes holy cow getting four epic heroes in a single refined wish i have seen people do it like i have seen it i just don't think i've done it Obtain two legend heroes in a single excellent wish. That can be viable. Three in excellent wish. Maybe if this said supreme wish, I would say, yeah, but four legend heroes in a single. Holy cow. These are some stretches here. Five legend heroes in an excellent wish. This one's more viable. I've I've pulled three in a 10 bomb. I don't know if I pulled four. I think I might have. I think I might have in one of our first sessions doing it. Five is just ludicrous, though. And then, of course, the same thing for the Miracle Wish as well. Obtain three specified epic heroes during a specified hero up event. So this means like the uh, like the past event when we had Soul in there and those other epic heroes hitting them, which is interesting. Obtain three newly released legend heroes via Miracle Wish. And three newly released legend heroes via Miracle Wish. Okay, so that's difficult because you... Like you only mm, miracle wish is difficult because it's every like 450 summons you're guaranteed the the up hero so that's a little sketchy and then obtain one festival exclusive legend hero via wish man we just had that and now I gotta wait probably till Christmas or something like that so total rewards are looking good I feel like the rewards are almost identical across the board right one one two one 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 two two uh is this the same down here come on looks identical and then we have this one as well and each one of them also has like a different boss avatar and then a skillful craftsman order and it's faster just going over here we got an unrivaled braveheart and then the last one down here is wise lord i mean you are wishing so yeah so those are all the new quests you'll start seeing them pop up and giving you guys more diamonds let me know what you guys think i'll see you guys next time